A toolset is the using sequence of two or more tools, usually with different functions, to achieve a single outcome. And there are only two species in the whole planet that use toolsets in the wild. Chimpanzees and goffins cockatoos, like the ones that we have here in the goffin lab. In 1995, a team of Japanese researchers discovered that chimpanzees of Congo were using two different kinds of tools to fish for termites. A thick one to open a hole in the termite nest and a fresh stem to fish for the soldier termites. But in 2004, we were still wondering about the cognitive requirements for this, as was expressed perfectly by the primatologist Richard Byrne, when he argued that each tool might have been made in response only to the outcomes of the previous tools used. So what looked like as a toolset could be nothing more than a sequence of single tool uses with different tools. It was in 2013, almost two decades after that discovery, when Richard Byrne himself, now together with Cricket Sands and David Morgan, argued that this was in fact something intended. Those chimpanzees of the Congo Basin in the Gologo Triangle were transporting flexibly the toolset depending on the need. Sometimes they transport both of them, but on occasions they only need and transport the long one. So that was a toolset, not only for the observers, but also for the chimpanzees. Coffins cockatoos, on the other hand, represent a very interesting case. They don't use tools in a wide species manner, are not specialized to use tools, and depend on their general cognition to do it. All of the previous mentions may result in an unusual innovative capability. They are so good at this that some individuals use tool sets in the wild, something that only goffins and chimpanzees do. But we didn't know if their toolset use is only a sequence of single tool uses or something more than that. To test this, we designed three experiments inspired by the termite fishing of chimpanzees of the Gologo Triangle. In the first one, ten cockatoos face a box with a thin membrane inside and a nut behind it. But before starting the experiment, they had to learn that the membrane can be destroyed. So for that, in the back side of the box, they found a membrane easily reachable with legs and beak. During the experiment, to get the nut, they had two tools, a short and thick one with pointy ends and a long and flexible one. Six cockatoos figured out by themselves how to solve it, and they learned quickly how to solve it in an efficient way. And this is the first report of birds using tearing and scratching with sharp tools. In the second experiment, we presented two different boxes in a random manner to five of those individuals. So sometimes they face the previous box and sometimes a simpler one that can be solved only with a long tool. They were able to use the tool set flexibly when was needed. In the third experiment, we wanted to test if they would be able to innovate the transport of both tools for a future use. We divided it in three consecutive phases of incremental effort, so they will need to reach the top of a platform where one of these two boxes will be placed, first by walking, after that by a horizontal flight, and finally needing a vertical high effort flight. So they will need to make a choice about what tools to use while investing more or less energy to reach the top of the platform. They always were able to go back and forth for one tool and the other, but if they had the capability to recognize that they will need both tools to accomplish the task in the near future, perhaps they would rather transport both of them. One individual started transporting during the early stage of the walking phase and mastered the task even when he needed to walk long distances to pick up both tools. Another individual started transporting during the horizontal flight and two more during the vertical high effort flight. Four cockatoos transported both tools, three of them in a consistent fashion. Once they learned by themselves to transport, they did it always with the double box and only sometimes with the simple one. Dolphins have proven to be able to innovate and to flexibly use and flexibly transport a tool set for a near future use. And we can now argue that their toolset use is more than the sum of its parts.